Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chisung, if you don't know that already, and I'm super excited to have you here. If you're listening on podcasts, I'm delighted that you're listening to me right now, even though you can't see me. I appreciate you and I'm really grateful that you are following this content, my podcast channel. Thank you. I'm very grateful. If you've not subscribed as a YouTuber, please, please subscribe. By YouTuber, I mean someone that uses YouTube. So yeah, please subscribe. I'll be very grateful that you do. Thank you so much. So for today's video, it's going to be a very quick one. And I'm going to be helping you navigate moments where prayer and devotion feel difficult. It's going to be more conversational, you know. So I'll give an example. On this day, um, this is actually, when am I recording this? this is sometime in April. And I'm recording, I'm getting really hungry, and I call my favorite healthy food blog. Hello, please, do people have parfait today? And they said no. Mind you, I called them like hours ago. Then I checked their online store on Child Deck. This is not free promotion, but like they do a great job. So I checked their online store on Child Deck, and I saw that they have parfait. I called again and said, ah, your online store says you have parfait. But I'm calling you guys now and you say you don't have parfait. And I'm like, oh, they don't have bananas. And that's why they can't make parfait for me. I don't like apples in my parfait. But tell me why I was considering every option to make this parfait thing work. I was like, can I just bone having apples in my parfait? Or should I order from the Ayaba branch? Mind you, the Ayaba branch is farther from me and more expensive because of delivery. But I was willing to call more than once. I was willing to look for an alternative to the exact same thing I wanted from their store just to get it done. Like I was willing to go through different variations to make sure I got what I wanted. Parfait. I've not still gotten it, but I'm just showing you the length I was willing to go. And by the way, there are times where I have gone as far as ordering from their Yaba branch just because I wanted to have parfait that day. Why did I share this story? For you sometimes, why prayer may become difficult and redundant is because you've made it so mechanical. If it's not coming this way, if it's not like when I call and they have parfait and then I go and pick it up or it's available on their store and I don't have to call again, if it's not that way, I'm not ordering. That's how some of us treat prayer. If it is not when I wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning, then I can't pray for the rest of the day. If it's not immediately after I have arranged my house, you know, by 9.30 on the dot or by 10 on the dot, it cannot be 10, 11. It cannot be all those imperfect numbers like 9.13. What is 9.13? It has to be a specific number or a specific place. I have to have everywhere arranged. I have to have showered. I have to be in a clean place. I have to be... All those things are great. But you become tired of praying and it becomes mechanical for you when there's no spontaneity, there's no vim, like everything has to be speak and span. You get tired of praying and that way. You need to realize that praying is not just picking out time to list your requests to God. In prayer, you're communicating with God. At least that's what it should be. You should be able to hear from him and tell him how you feel. That's what makes it a relationship that it is two way you're able to communicate and you're able to be communicated to so if everything about you is mechanic it just stifles the life out of that relationship think about it this way if you are in a blissful friendship and you only want your friend to call you by perfect numbers by 10 a.m on the dot or 12 noon on the dot if they call you by 1201 you will not pick if they call you by 12 17 you won't pick till it's 12 30. it's it's a problem in that relationship to so just put it simply if you only want to meet your friends when you are wearing a certain color or you only want to meet your friends when you guys are meeting in a restaurant or somewhere fancy and you don't care to meet the person when their house is dirty you don't care to miss meet the person when you know things are not as rosy that's not a very good thing to have in any friendship so in the same way when you're trying to build your relationship with the lord if you're looking for all perfect factors to align, you would barely have a good relationship with the Lord. And that may be what is stifling your spiritual growth at this point. So how do you get out of this rut, if I would say that? I've already given the answer. Allow for spontaneity. Don't get... 
allow for some you know spark of fire so for me and my husband please don't get tired of me giving this example it's my context okay so we celebrate something we call anniversaries. we got married our wife's wedding was august 13th so every 13th of the month we kind of mark um it it can be something simple it can be that he bought me a cup of parfait it can be as elaborate as us getting like really nice gifts for each other and that's how we celebrate things but there was this random day like that day could not have been more random and my husband was at work he texted and he's like oh hi babe how are you would you like to go on a date this evening i don't even remember what the date was like the, the day's date i don't remember what it was but it just struck me like uh -uh. yeah romantic I like it. But yeah, there was nothing special about the day, but it meant everything to me that there was nothing special. It wasn't my birthday, nothing nothing noteworthy was happening that day, but he just shows that he wanted to spend time with me because he loves me and time outside the house is premium time in my opinion. But yeah, it was it was it was really heartwarming for me. So kind try and carry that energy into the place of devotion it does not have to be your regular prayer time when you talk to the lord you may just think about god and your relationship with him and talk to him right now like right now if this thing i'm saying is making you think about your relationship with the lord why don't you just talk to him right now the lord i love you and i just want you to say it out loud i love you and i want to grow deeper in love with you so add some of them into your devotional life you may just keep it alive <laughs> no pun intended but seriously add some vim into your devotional life and i'll just call out a caveat in adding vim you need to realize that your brain works well with routines so if vim is leading you to run on vibes please just stick to your routines my point is with the routines you have still have moments where you're just spontaneous where you just allow yourself to just bask instead of just listening to a worship song and wash plates you allow yourself to stop washing plates and just dance to the song that you were listening to in worship of the Lord, allow spontaneity. To wrap this up, I would like to re-emphasize something I said at the beginning. Your work with God is a relationship. It shouldn't be one way. It shouldn't be only when you have problems and you're looking for who to load them on. Your work with the Lord is a relationship. That's what he craves from you. So you should be willing to give that amount of attention, that amount of intentionality, the amount of devotion to see your relationship with the Lord um, grow and succeed and thrive. That's what you should be able to do. I hope that this has answered your questions. I hope this helps you. If you have more specific questions regarding devotion, please let me know in the comment section and I will get to it as quickly as I can. I usually watch, um, watch out for comments, immediately they come in, so I'll respond as soon as I see them. I love you guys very much and I would see you at my next video. Bye.